operations management class. In this video, I will teach you how to calculate aggregate planning using transportation method. Aggregate planning is a process by which a company determines levels of capacity, production, subcontracting, inventory, stock out, and pricing over a specified time horizon. It usually takes 3 to 18 months ahead. The objective of aggregate planning is usually to meet forecast demand while minimizing costs over the planning period. Transportation method produces an optimal plan, works well for inventories over time and subcontracting, but it does not work when non-linear or negative factors are introduced. In today's lesson, we are going to take a look at example 5 regarding aggregate planning with transportation method. In this example, we are going to develop an actual production plan and finally determine the cost of production plan. Let's get started. France Worth Tire Company would like to develop an aggregate plan via the transportation method. Data that related to production, demand, capacity and cost are shown below. This company has three different sales period, March, April and May. It has the information regarding demand capacity with regular overtime and subcontracting and also the beginning inventory information which is 100 tire on March. The capacity have different kind of cost. Regular time is $40 per tire, overtime $50 per tire, subcontracting $70 per tire and the carrying cost is $2 per tire per month. The first step is to create this table. The second step is to fill in the data regarding beginning inventory, demand and capacity. The demand have information regarding period 1, period 2 and period 3. The beginning inventory is 100 on March and the total capacity available during this time is 100. The next part is capacity. For period 1, the capacity for regular time is 700, over time 50 and Subcontracting is 150. For period 2, the total capacity for regular time is 700, over time 50, and subcontracting is 150. For period 3, regular time 700, over time 50, and subcontracting is 130. Finally, we include the total demand value march is one is 800 april 1000 and may 750 the third step is to include the capacity cost cost per unit in the upper right corner of each cell of the metric in table it in table 13.7 First, we look at the carrying cost which is $2 per tire per month. It begins with beginning inventory period 2, $2 and we need to increase another $2 for period 3 and 0 for unused capacity. Now, we are going to look at period 1. Regular time. The first cost is $40 per tire. Second period is $42. And another period is $44. And zero for unused capacity. Over time, the first cost is $50. And of course, we need to increase $2 in period 2 
and another $2 in period 3 and 0 for unused capacity. Now we're going to do subcontracting 70 cost period 1 and period 2 72 period 3 74 and 0 for unused capacity. Now is period 2. The regular time start at period 2. First is 40 and the next period should be 42. For over and uh, 0 for unused capacity. For overtime in period 2 is 50. The next period 52 and 0 for unused capacity. For subcontracting, the first, the first period is $70 and the next one we need to increase another $2 becomes $72 and 0 for unused capacity. Now we finish period 2. Next is period 3 and it begins here for regular time 40, overtime 50 and subcontracting 70 and each of these has zero unused capacity. The fourth step is minimizing the cost of matching production in various periods to future demands. Let, let's take a look at how it works. For period 1, we need to meet the total demand of 800. And within the total, the period one, we have three different time. From these three, which one is the lowest cost? Regular time, 40, and it has the total capacity available of 700. So we need to utilize all the 700. Now, we add on the beginning cost to meet the total demand. It is equal to the total demand which is 800. Now we go to the next period with the reminding period 1 and period 2. Okay, within this circle, we try to find which one is the lowest cost to meet the total demand of 1000 for period 2? It is 40 and it has the total capacity available of 700. And it's still not enough for 1000. We try to find another one. The lowest cost, which is 50, and it has total capacity available of 50. Now, we total up and try to match with the total demand requirement, 1000, it's still not enough. We try to find another one, which is the lowest cost, it is 52. And the total capacity available is 50. Matching with the total demand, 1000. It's not enough. We need another 200. So we have to go for another process to find the lowest cost, which is 70. And it has the total capacity available of 150. Okay, we try to add on to match with the total demand. It is still not enough. We need another 50. And try to do the process the same thing. And finally, we have 
72 and the total capacity available for 72 is 150 but we need only 50 to match with the 1000 demand so we have another 100 for unused capacity for period 2 now we go for period 3 within the tree we try to find the lowest cost which is 40 and period 3 we need to meet the total demand of 750 for for 40 we have 700 total capacity we need to use it all we have it we need to include another 50 so we need to do to find which one is the lowest cost which is 50 and 50 has exactly 50 total capacity available now we meet the total demand of 750 and the total of unused capacity is 230 Okay, after completing the five steps of transportation method, now we can finally find the total cost of the plan. For period one, the total cost is 28,000. For period two, the total cost is 40,200. For period three, is 30,500 and all together the total cost plan is 105,700. Thank you. That's all.